king, you king, you know it. King already, already, you know it. Talk everything, everything, you know it. King already, already, you know it. My body, so on a king body. Body gon' shine, bling, bling, body. Falling on the shots, ring, ring, body. Crown on your head, got a king body. King, you're a king, you're a king. <laughs> oh, God. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Berlin. I have my client with me today. She just got a fresh color. I don't color, um, but the person that did her color did a beautiful job. Um, what other color? You've had a lot of different colors. Yes, <laughs> I have. I've been blonde. I've been different colors of red. I've been black. Yep, all of them. Yep, so we're going to talk today a little bit about her lock journey. How long you been locked now? Uh, it will be three years in May. Three years in May. She's a transfer client. She came to me when she was about six months into her journey. So talk to the people. Let them know about your little journey and um, how you started. So um, I basically cut off all my hair. I went into a boy fade. Mm -hmm. I did that for about a year. And then one day I was like, let me, I'm just going to grow my hair back. And then it started growing. I was like, oh, I can't manage it. It's just too much. Mm -hmm. And I had tried traditional locks, but because I liked the cleanness of the parts, I didn't like waiting like a month or so to get it retwisted because of the texture of my hair. Mm -hmm. So I researched, looked online, and I was like, oh, okay, well, let me try micro locks. But then I saw sister locks. I said, like, oh, I really want to do these because these people are certified. They're all listed on the website. They've had training to be mm -hmm. able to take care of your hair. So I basically researched the website and man, locticians are hard to find to do sister locks. I went through, I know at least nine people in the wow. list of Georgia just to find someone to start my hair. So when I finally found somebody, she was really great. Her speed was not where I wanted it at. So I basically started because it was just easy and natural and I wanted to do something different. And for me, having locks is a really great commitment mm -hmm. because once it's done, it's done. So, and just watching them flourish because I never thought they would grow. And then I found B. So here I am almost three years later and loving the experience. I love to watch where they started and I look at pictures and I'll be like, man, I started out with no hair. Now I got a little shake, little hang time. So I'm just really loving the journey. Like when you walked in here today, I was like, oh my gosh, your <laughs> hair. <laughs> it's gotten so long. Like I'm going to put some pictures on when she first started coming to me, what her hair looked like. And I'm just like, wow. Yeah, it's like every day. So, so it's kind of like yesterday when I went, I went out, I did my hair up and put a little different color in it. Uh -huh. And then after she did my hair this morning, the color, I was like, Oh my gosh, my hair is so long. So it's kind of like you, your hair is like just growing like a weed because I didn't realize the length on it until after this morning. I think it's the color that's got it more vibrant and shows the length. And I didn't think it would be this long. Remember, I wanted to cut it every time I come. I want every to cut time it. she comes <laughs> and she feel a little pull, she want to get her hair cut. Well, go ahead and cut this lock right here. It's hurting. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm still enjoying the journey. I'm gonna see how long it's gonna get. And I'm still waiting on my drop. I don't know when that's coming. When is that Girl, coming? It is, it's here. Your <laughs> hair is dropping. Because remember, it was growing like right. out. Now, I actually see it's hanging. Well, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it to have that long drop ready. So, before you made the commitment to start your lock journey, how were you wearing your hair before? Um, I had a, a fade. I, had, I, I wore my hair blonde. And I had a total ball fade. Um, as low as I could possibly get it. And I wore that for like almost three years. Mm -hmm. And then I just decided I had to let it grow at least three inches, I think, to get sister locks. So that was a really, really hard transition for me to allow my hair to just grow with no style. It was just out there. Wow. It was ugly too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want me to go ahead and insert some of those pictures. <laughs> Woo. But you know what? That's part of the journey of me watching my hair, how it flourish. It actually reminds me of a person. As you go through life and you grow, you look back over your life and be like, oh man, I was here, but then I was there and look where I'm at now. So 
yeah, I did hate those pictures, but now I look at them. It's kind of like a like a butterfly. It's kind of mm -hmm. like it's always just growing, 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 and you see the maturity and the growth of it. So go ahead and post them. Don't try to talk about me now. I, no, I'm, laugh, <laughs> I'm laughing right now because um, I remember talking, speaking about growth. I remember the time when you were like, I can't wash my hair. Nothing. My lactation used to wash my hair. This girl was like, I'm like, uh... <laughs> Ma'am, all you have to do is just two strand your hair, two strand, that's tuck how, it under. That's how she got rubber hair, band and wash your hair. <laughs> that was me. I don't like washing my hair. I didn't wash my hair before coming over here. I was always used to someone else doing it. So when I booked with B, I was like, hey, can you wash my hair? She's like, yeah, I wash it. But then when I got here, she was like, girl, you have to wash your hair before you come. I was like, I can't do it. I cannot do it. And I was like, I think I put a stocking cap on it. You told me to put a stocking cap. You were scared cap. that yeah. it was going to unravel and yeah. all that stuff too. It was, it was crazy. But you were, you were good. But now I'm washing my hair, y'all. Now I'm like a big girl now. She is a big girl. <laughs> she washing her own hair. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you have like any regrets, any concern when it comes to your locks? Um, I do not have any regrets. Um, sometimes I do have concerns with the, them feeling like they're too thin or feeling like they're not, um, stable. Mm -hmm. But then I think that's just part of the process of me getting used to it and that they're different sizes due to how it was start set up. But I don't have any regrets. I absolutely love the journey. Um, I'm still learning. Um, so that part I say will be always continuous, but I am absolutely glad that I did it. And when I'm out, people are like, oh my gosh, your hair is so nice. And I'm like, who hair? And then I have to realize they're talking about my locks. Um, because I'm just not used to the compliments because like I said, for so long, during the first half, year and a half of my journey, I thought that my locks were so ugly because we're so used to saying, hey, I'm in the ugly stage. But in reality, with these sister locks, there was not any ugly stage. It was just basically your mind adjusting mm -hmm. to the new look, the new the new you. Because you're so used to things being uniform and the sister locks are not uniform except for the grid. Mm -hmm. So that was the part for me that was hard and challenging, but I had absolutely no regrets, no worries. When I do have worries, you know, I blow your phone up. Yes, girl. <laughs> I got a little <laughs> knot right here. This one feel too thin. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, if you guys are looking to get your locks or if you have locks and you're only in the beginning stage, I would say hang in there. Hang in there, you know? And it's like with anything that you really, really want to do, you just have to hang in there. Yep, headbands will get you through it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was my my thing too i used to wear my little headband um i had my little big earring mm -hmm. like red lips and you good to go so absolutely yeah so it feel long back there with you it is long on. it is long i'm gonna measure it before you leave i'm gonna measure your hair oh wow Yep. I tried to get her to cut one out this morning. She's like, girl, you gonna get out of my chair with that? I said, my lactician would cut my hair. She's girl, like, I'll that she you won't. Out too. <laughs> I'll kick you out too. <laughs> yep. So, um, are you still braiding and banding? I do occasionally. I'm not as, not as faithful as I should be to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of do it based upon if I see that my hair has kind of shrunk a lot or I'm starting to see a lot of little thicker ends, okay. um, I will braid and band at that time. But sometimes I find myself putting my hair just in two braids. Like if I know I'm not going to be working or anything, mm -hmm. it just seems like it's just so much more convenient and it also stretches it out for me. Yeah. Yeah. But at night I sleep in a bonnet. I'm just straight bonnet at yes, night. Yes, please put on your bonnet to avoid any lint um, that can get trapped in your hair. So you guys, if you guys have any question, please um, 
comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and share, share this video. If it's, um, if you think it'll help someone else, share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are thinking about coloring your hair, talk to your loctician um, and she will, she or he will let you know when it's safe for you to color your hair. Because in the beginning, when you first get your, your hair um, installed, you don't want to do anything that's going to change the texture of your hair or manipulate your hair. Yep, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share, share, share. And also once I'm done with this video, I will post a picture of the end. Bye. <sighs> Let me go criticize. I'm trying to grow my little YouTube channel. Oh, Jesus. Huh? You made my hair tight, tight. You could go. Thank you.